Hi there, it's Jake from Krakatoa Designs HD, and um, yeah, I'm bringing you a tutorial, Adobe After Effects CS4 or 5, whichever. Um, on wait, if you if you look, it in kind of includes this. This is my new website. If you want to go check it out, um, it contains like this kind of effect, this outward blast. Um, kind of like an aftershock thing, uh, using the same plugin as the background. Um, so yeah, that's my new website, Design uh, .co.cc. Um, go check it out. I've got a bunch of uh, freebies, some te intro templates, web layout templates, web layout packs, GFX packs, and custom packs. Custom packs is basically. It's just um, it uh, it's specific packs, not a general or GFX pack. Um, so I'm speaking quiet. It's quarter of one in the morning. My girlfriend's asleep, so I might be a bit quiet. This will be quite a lengthy tutorial because I'm going to show you two different effects in one tutorial. Um, and then I think I'm going to post it as a video response to Trooper FX's uh, Modern Warfare 3 Elite intro. Um, so yeah, all oh, this is free. Um, so just give it a check out and uh, download some stuff. Right, for this you're going to need a plugin called Trap Code Form. Uh, this is 2.0 from Red Giant. Uh, I'm going to be using the the previous version. The main difference in 2.0 is that you can import object files and use them to create the form instead of like a box or sphere with the layers. Um, it's two hundred pound, uh, two hundred dollars, which works out I think about like one hundred thirty quid. Uh, or you can upgrade for a hundred dollars, which I think is about sixty quid, sixty five or something like that. So yeah, down to business. I'm gonna be showing you how to do this. Um, this effect and that. See the aftershock and the the thing at the end. That kind of distorted orb. I'm going to be showing you that. Um, I see someone said there, how do you do that? And it's that, um, so Tranquilize asked, and Tron FX said, I think it's the particle effect. It's a, uh, it's actually not the particular effect. Um, so I'll show you how it's done. And, uh, yeah. So, if you go into After Effects and create a new composition, I'm going to do 1280 by 720, 60 frames a second. I'll just make it 8 seconds long. Right, there you go. Once you've got that, you want to go to Layer, New, Solid. Make Comp Size. Background black, okay. So there's that. Right now, you want to go to effect, trap code, form. Right, and then you, you'll have this little box here. Base for if you go to base form, then go to base form where it says box grid, just go down to sphere layered. Take that down to one layer. Size X, I'll put it at 600. And size Y six hundred again, just so it's a perfect thing. For now, I'm gonna keep this the same. So it's it's not just a circle; it's actually a sphere. It has depth to it. Particles and X. I'm going to put three hundred particles and Y three hundred the same. <clears throat> As you can see, it looks like a sphere, really, doesn't it? As if the particles get tighter around the edge. Um, so, yeah. If you close down base form, go to particle. 
I'm just gonna change the color to like a dark green. Nah, it's kind of the color we use. Um, then close down particle. If you open up fractal field, go to flow Z and set that at 50. And then down to F scale and set that as 15. I found 15 seems to be pretty good. So a lot of people do XYZ individual, but I prefer to do linked for this effect. Um, just basically yeah, adding on preference. Um, right, if you go to displace and up the displace to about 69, if you go to 69, 70, you can see how it's uh, it's changed. I'm guessing Troop Bear's kept is around about 36. Um, you see that effect it's already got now. And if you kind of pop along through your timeline, you'll notice it changes. So if I do a quick RAM preview of that. Sorry, my computer's slow. Um, so yeah, RAM preview. And I will literally show you the first half second because that is all that I think I'll be able to fit into this. And um, I don't want to keep it too long. Right, and uh, click that, you see it moves. Moves, yeah. Right. Okay, so once you've got that done, you can, you've got your kind of uh, distorted, displaced sphere of particles. You want to go to base form and click the stopwatch on size X, size Z, and that's that on base form. If you go to particle and go to opacity, click the stopwatch on that as well. Then go back down to fractal field and put a stopwatch on displace. If you close them down, then go down and click black solid one. I'll just rename it to after shock. <coughs> click the button U and that will open up your keyframes. Let's make this a bit bigger too. I'm just gonna drop my quality down to half just to make it a bit easier. Right. If if you're an idiot like me, drag your keyframes back to the very oof, back to the very you know what? Remove the keyframes, go back to the start, and then add the keyframes again. There you go. Just just means everything's set at a zero. <laughs> right. For this effect you basically want to, from the start, you want to add size to zero, size x to zero, and size y to zero. It kind of makes it disappear a little bit, that's why we have the opacity on. Right. Now, if you scrub forward to about three seconds through your timeline, you want it to uh, size Y. Um, I'm basically going to scrub this up till it goes past a certain point. Uh, size X, even. Right there. 1700. And then copy that into there. Into size Y. 1700. So it is hopefully large. Yep. Yeah, right. Um, so it's large like that. And then if you scoot back a bit, you can see it's gone out from the center. So that's the, the aftershock. The, that's the initial aftershock. Bring it down to a quarter. Just so I know it will play faster, closer to real time. Um, so if you see it bursting out like that, that's what it should look like so far. Um, 
basically it'll just enlarge itself up to the keyframe of being 1700 pixels by 1700 pixels there um, yeah so after that you want to go back to the start and on the pace that you click zero all the way down to zero and then at about half a second bring it right back up to 100 again so what you want to do from here as you've got it fading in and then up to here you want the opacity to go down so if you scrub to about two and a half seconds add another keyframe on opacity and go to three seconds or exactly where it gets to 1700 so there realign yourself bring the opacity back down and what that does is it just makes it go black right now you've got that initial shockwave effect what you want to do is select your layer yeah, select your layer press ctrl and D what that does is it duplicates the layer now I want to drag this to here right and then press U again for this you want to change the displays so I'll just remove the the keyframing on that on displays and put it down a bit not too much no. about there and this what it does is it just lets it kind of do two waves of this effect but keep it the same if you know what I mean it's like in a second you'll see this other one come through so it's kind of two shocks if you watch there we go two shocks and basically there 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 you know what I mean so that is the what I've gathered is the effect is just using trap code form um so yeah there you go um now the second part is I'm going to duplicate this layer again bring it up over and that right if I press U again keep this out uh, press U that'll bring up the keyframes again you want to take off this place like take the keyframing off um, take off opacity and take off size X and size Y now we'll keep it at that size I'll bring them down a little bit back to 600 600 there you go and basically if you go back up here to base form and then go to sphere layers and click 2 I will add another one in the middle I'm going to change the color slightly just so that it's a bit like darker it doesn't light up as much right there hopefully you can still see that with uh, Camtasia um, so on full at 100% that's what it looks like yeah all fine and dandy and that is a bit Modern Warfare 3 to well, Modern Warfare in general kind of style um, and basically when that plays through it will just displace and displace and displace and keep displacing until the composition ends and I gather as well that is the effect that is used at the at the start but I mean at the end but obviously with like the logo in front so see if we add a new text KDHD Cockadoo Designs HD best channel there is and then if you just change change the color to like a light green there you go and that is that
So um, I hope you found this tutorial useful. I'm going to release some uh, aftershock video files that you can use in After Effects that you can just overlay over your your, your video and it will add the aftershock in straight away. Uh, you'll just have to change the blend mode. Um, but that's all really. Um, so thanks for watching this, taking the time to watch this tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed it. Right, thanks. Bye.